Hello, today we continue Android Canvas games. In particular, we consider Android game development framework, uh, creating games using framework reusability based on Mario Zechner beginning Android games textbook. So what is Android general framework? It's a number of classes, uh, in particular interfaces and uh, the implementations for use in Android development. Uh, once we have done that, we are able to create games on top of this framework and we will demonstrate how to do that today by developing Mr. Nom game. So Mr. Nom game is example number one to using uh, this uh, framework. So it has a couple of uh, screens. The first screen just uh, provides you a menu, play high scores, help. Second screen shows the, how the help menu works. And finally, the, the last uh, screen on the right uh, show the snake that uh, moving uh, on the screen and eating ink. So when a snake eats ink, it will grow in size. And basically, score current score is displayed in the bottom area of the screen. So this is actually uh, the content of uh, Combat Logic Android Games uh, framework. So what we have here, we have a Combat Logic Android Games uh, folder with uh, all uh, things, all interfaces, all implementations. Uh, for example, audio interface, Android audio implementation of this interface, and so on. And uh, also we have here um, Mr. Non folder that it's uh, related directly to uh, this particular game scenario. For example, this is a snake class that represents the snake. Snake part represents the snake part. Stain class represents the state, for example. So we don't use any uh, layout because uh, our class using uh, canvas game approach. We're using um, screen, it's actually it's a class screen, it's abstract class that uh, will be um, extend screen. So basically all screens uh, extend after class screen. Individual assignment. So check solution for three modifications. New improvements are three new gameplay objects that add new elements to the game. Number one, uh, walls. When you touch a wall, you lose. It's possible to modify the level and move the walls to different positions to make new kind of levels of difficulties. Blood splat. When you eat this, you will lose 20 points and the snake gains one snake part. One appears for every five stains you eat. And number three is a peel. When you eat this, your snake lose five snake parts. One appears for every ten stains you eat. You can check demo to this project uh, right after my presentation. So also you can uh, download source code for Mr. Nom project and uh, compile the game and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, thanks a lot. Sure. Sure.